good morning everyone today is Sunday the 23rd I am Lynette welcome to charmed Grammy crochet um, I have a confession to make I was on vacation we spent the last week in Myrtle Beach so when you saw my granddaughter um, <clears throat> we were in a hotel well a condominium we rent condominiums um, so I was a little um, camera shy for the week. Uh, I, you know, I wasn't around too much. The one video I posted I made prior to going, my husband does not like us to announce on the internet that we're going to be away. Uh, understandable, but really, I don't think anybody's just going to target my house. I don't have anything but yarn. So anyway, some of you guys might go after that. I don't know. Anyway, we had a fantastic time. And it is a like ten and a half hour car ride, which we always drive. Uh, I had heart issues at, like ten years ago, and it stormed a snowstorm, and there was trouble getting off of our street. Uh, I did not have a heart attack, but I only found that out about six months ago. I was told at the time I had a heart attack, and for ten years I thought I had a heart attack. I was forty five years old. Did not have a heart attack. Um, so anyway, the storm was terrible. I live on a slight hill. The tow trucks or the snow plows couldn't come down. Um, and people had to shovel out of like the neighborhood. There's only 13 houses on my street. They had to shovel the street with their hands to get in and out. And my husband has a four by four so we could get out. Um, but my car, we have a single car driveway and my car was behind the truck. He couldn't get out. We had to shovel the driveway in order to get out. The good news is I was fine. The um, storm happened the day I, after I came home from the hospital, but he was panic stricken. And ever since then, because he's so sweet, he does never ever wants to be without his own vehicle. He wants to know that he can get me to the hospital if I have a heart attack, which wasn't a heart attack. So no big deal, right? Anyway, that's that whole story is we drive when we go on vacation. So I packed um, a lot of whips to and a couple of projects to do while in the car and maybe some while, you know, waiting around in the evening like I crochet now. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to insert right here the clip of what I packed in the car to take with us to work on. Um, and I was thinking I get a lot of this done in the car. Uh, and then I'll show you what we actually accomplished. So here's the clip. What it looks like when you are packing for a 12 hour round trip drive and you have a lot of time to crochet. Whips will be done when I get home. Hopefully all of them. Okay, so I packed all that stuff. What was I thinking? So as you know, I did finish the blue reader because I posted that and my granddaughter um, ta uh, taped it, you know, modeled. Then I made the uh, stuffed animal for her with the multicolor, the rainbow lovey on it. I did make that one. I made a pink and purple one. Uh, with a unicorn stuffed animal for the youngest and they took those home with them in the car and so you don't get to see that one. Uh, I did make this one, still didn't finish the strings, so I did finish those three, four projects because we did complete the, the little reader for the little one. Then I brought, um, let's see, I have this blanket I was making and I'm making it out of that Chateau by Nicole. Now I made a couple of these at Christmas time and I used three skeins of yarn. So I bought three skeins of yarn for this and it's not going very far. So I don't remember exactly what I did. I have to, but I, this is so thick and so dense. I think what I did before was a double crochet, skip one, double crochet, skip one, I think. Now I'm doing half double crochet, which I really like that stitch better. Um, 
and for just general stitching. And I, but I didn't skip one. And this thing is so thick. The ones that I made last year with the skip one are so warm. Like you can't hardly keep them on for very long sometimes. This one with doing every stitch, just double, half, double, half, double, half, double. With the air on in the car on my lap, I'm sweating. I'm like, and all the jets at me. So I'm, and it's only this big. I don't know if you can tell. It's not very big and I'm two and a half skeins in. So I think it'll just be too hot. It's uh, going to be just too heavy. So I'm going, I worked on it. I got like a half a skein into it. And I'm like, I, you just can't even work on it. It's too hot, even with the air blowing on you in the car. I don't think um, that Nick will be able to wear it. So, frogging that, starting over. So I didn't work much on that. I did um, bring an elephant to make a lovey for for myself. His lovey did not get made. Sorry. But he's cute, isn't he? But Avery the baby um, with the pink unicorn, pink and purple unicorn, so sweetly said, Grammy, when are you going to make my blanket to match my unicorn like the baby blanket that goes with this guy? I said, oh, I hadn't planned on doing that. Didn't think she'd want one, but she does. So I have... I did start this in the car yesterday, um, and I'm just doing a granny stitch because um, that's the stitch that I used for. And the the lovey is by Zelda NR3, and I will. See, I couldn't post that from. I didn't have a lot of like internet time and laptop time. So I didn't look for it and I didn't post it on my last video, but I will post it on this one. Um, so I'm using the leftover Lion Brand Pound of Love for the purple, uh, which is what her lovey is made out of. And this was scrap yarn from that spring blanket, um, crochet along from Mikey. So I have a lot of this, so it's going to be mostly purple with just a little bit of the pink which the pink was um, a red heart yarn in pretty and pink um, that these were both scraps so she's going to get a blanket the size of the scraps so that's what I can do for her it's just for playing with anyway so I don't know if I made it really wide enough I thought it was going to be wide enough but you know I was in the car so I made it like I can wrap my arm around her so I made it that long and that's how long it is, if, but I'm looking like maybe not long enough, so maybe I'll do a couple rows of border, and then it'll be good. Or, you know, I mean, wide enough. So that is a project that I, that, that's a new whip. I finished not, like, one whip. I don't know if you consider the Lovey's whips, because I hadn't started them prior to leaving, but they were projects that I wanted to complete while I was there. So I did do two of those and completed them. Trashed the blanket for Nick um, but I'm gonna restart that so that's still a work in progress I guess um, then let's see, what else do I get in here oh that's my crochet case this is the yarn for my lovey for my elephant he wasn't really gonna get much of a side color other than if I decide I was gonna maybe put some of that purple or pink or whatever leftover colors from the other kids Lovies, well, not other kids, but the kids or the grandkids' lovies. So we'll see what happens with that. I don't know. He might be all gray, and I'm okay with that. So this is now a new whip that I did, or I'm starting. Then I took um, yarn for my crochet along with the flora that Mikey's doing now. So I brought that basket of yarn. And honestly,
honestly, there just wasn't time to watch his tutorial for the new one. You know, we were pool and beach and sightseeing and, you know, vacation things. So crochet time was mostly in the car going to those things. Um, sometimes waiting around a little bit here and there for somebody to finish something, you know, get whatever done. So there was not a ton of crochet time like when it's just my husband and I on vacation. But this lovey, I still didn't crochet in the ends. Hmm, I'll get to it. I gotta get to it quick. The uh, baby shower is next weekend. So there is another family member that is... Uh, <laughs> having a baby and so I'm making another uh oh don't zip your yarn up into the zipper that's a bad oh very bad okay there we go so I did work on this whip um it's the blue for the boy baby we are having in the family uh, so this is again this Jada and Stitches heart design uh, the somebody asked me about this and it is a double crochet a uh, single crochet and I just put the wrong sides together so I worked I did work on this I, I did um, like a row and a half it's baby yarn you know three weight yarn makes beautiful things but it is so time consuming to use three weight yarn and a small hook. It just, I get bored. So I did put, this is the next row. And where I have left off, I created all of this part. And now these need the blue. So these were previously created. I have to, I'll admit to it. So I'm adding the blue border. And then once the blue border, then I put the wrong sides together like this. And then I just single crochet up the seam. And when I have seven of them, then I wrong sides together, crochet it up. And the, um, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but this is what I do. So on the sides, like these I have to sew in. And some of them I've like, crocheted around while I was crocheting and they just need to be snapped off snipped off like the one in the center you know but these because they're long and the whipping crochet middle stitch here just like forms a tunnel so when I'm crocheting I just crochet those right into the tunnel and and they disappear so that's less hand sewing in and these I can hand sew I can do that too on the ends here when I do this but usually these long ones from this side stitch if you just you can just one little darning needle right through the center no weaving just right through the center and it's long so it's not coming out that baby can get that out of there so um, sewing in the ends on that tends to be a lot easier if you just do it that way so I did work on this. I worked on this for maybe two or three hours in the car. And I'm sorry, friends, I just get bored with it. Like, I like to see faster progress. And you can whip through, like, it just seems like it takes, I get bored with it. I, I don't know how else to say that, I get bored with it. So this is going to be five or seven rows, I can't remember. Um, I think seven I think it's seven by seven I think I made 49 squares all together so I've got three and a half rows done or four and a half rows done I really need to work on it this baby's gonna come and then I still have to make the the lovey which I haven't started um, other than I have the little doggy for it so I have to force myself to work on that. And, and it's not force myself in a bad way. It's just I get bored. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. So I did fix the pocket on my on my reader and made it tighter. So I brought the yarn for that. And what else do I got in here? This is the this is the do tell. Okay, so that was what that yarn was for that I took. Um, 
That's my selfie stick. I used this. Oh, I made this and this and this. So these are the yarns now that I have to do for Ariana's blanket to go with her lovey. I just thought the loveys would be enough. Not that they're not, but I will use these leftover yarns and make um, Ari a blanket if she wants one. And uh, let's see this yarn bag. Let's see, this is for the loveys, so we don't need that anymore. This was. Um, I didn't have any more white, so this is the white for the lovey. I'm going to have to... I think I took it in because I was done with the white parts on the baby blankets, and the loveys came as an afterthought like a couple months later. Um, so the white yarn I think I took to the camper. Um, somebody wants me to teach them to crochet, and so I took all my, my scrap stash other than what I was using here. So this is a whole skein, uh oh, a whole skein of purple and pink flicka that I took in case I needed it, didn't need it. On the purple one, I only used two skeins. On the blue one, I went into the third skein. So this is what's left of the third skein. Almost, I mean, I just used it for the fringe. Um, so I even had leftover on. And I'm, I just made the purple one a little bit smaller, not as wide because smaller child. And then I have left over for the pockets. Um, so everything else in here is electronics and leftovers. Other than I did not work on this. I thought if I ran out, if I finished all this stuff and ran out, I still have potholders. I always have potholders on with me because it's little and easy to uh, work with. And I take that to work with me. So, there we go. That's what I completed out of all that yarn. Um, I did buy more yarn when we were out so i'll show you that real quick not a lot we went to another walmart so i checked out their clearance they had a lot of clearance and i'm going to tell you they had scarfy on clearance and i'm like oh everybody talks about scarfy scarfy and i just thought it was scratchy i must be the only person in the world that was like i'm not buying that i wasn't i wasn't thrilled with the feel of the scarfy yarn um, I've never really bought it, and maybe that's why, because it felt scratchy to me, and I'm like, I don't know. maybe it doesn't feel that way after you wash it, does it? I don't know. I, I like yarns that are going to be soft and cuddly, and I would not want to wear that as a scarf around my face. It was, I have really sensitive skin, so maybe it's just me that it felt scratchy to, but I, my grandbabies were with me, and they're, they're like, Ugh. and I, I like man, yeah. so well, they didn't like it either. So anyway, I put the scarfy back. I didn't buy it. I thought I'm not making anything out of that that nobody's gonna wear. So scarfy went back. So we did get. Uh, let's see which ones did I get two of. This one. I got two of this. Crinkle means new yarn, so I'm not gonna apologize for that. Nope, these are different. Nope, these are the same. Um. Violet Vision. Nope, these are the same. Yeah. They're a little different centers. Um, they were on clearance for $3.50. They are Bernat Pop. Um, they're different centers, but it doesn't matter because the girls said they wanted skirts made out of these. So I really am going to try that whole skirt pattern thing. I just have to find the right skirts. Um, I showed Avery, who... Grammy, will you make me this? Grammy, will you make me that? Ari wants to learn to crochet. Um, Avery just wants crocheted items, which is wonderful because I want to crochet and everything she sees is, oh, Grammy, make me something out of this yarn. Oh, Grammy, make me something out of that yarn. I'm like, okay. I can buy faster than I can make. That's the problem. Anyway, for school, they want matching. So I think they're both pretty skinny little things. So I think maybe 
one each. Matching skirts for the girls. I love it when I buy yarn that has a purpose. Then Ari said, I want a skirt out of this one. So I said, okay. And this one is called Blue Blaze. Teal is her favorite color. So there's some teals. Oh, can, yeah, you can get a good look this way. Teals and blues in there. She matches her Flicka yarn. See, this was the Flicka yarn for her. Grammy did good picking out colors, right? Um, Ari's, uh, Avery's favorite color actually is red, but she loves all colors, she told me. And she loves metallic colors. Glitter and stuff. But then she picked out this one. And this one is called Snow Queen. So hopefully we can get one skirt out of each skein of yarn um, for a little girl. So these have, they're 100% acrylic. They are a medium for, uh, let's see, crochet hook is five millimeter suggested size and five ounces, 140 grams, 280 yards. If I can't get a full uh, skirt, I can always add white, right? White or light pink or something. So that is all the new acquisitions that I have currently caught up on all my projects and my secrets. And, hey, what do you guys think of this? So at the pool, at the, at the resort, they came and braided our hair and I got beads. I mean, really adorable, right? Look at that. Cute. Totally love it. They said the braids will stay for about three weeks. And this could stay all the way to Christmas. I'm like, oh, but can you then put it in Christmas colors? I totally love it. Um, the braids will come out and I'll still have this in my hair, which might be a problem for brushing my hair. I don't know. But I love the braids. And so I'm going to leave them as long as they stay. Because I think they're cute. I hope you don't think that I'm like too old for that. I don't think I am. I mean, you're as old as you feel, right? So that's that. And I totally love them. And I kind of like, I was wishing maybe I did the other side. My granddaughter and my daughter-in-law both have long hair. And, uh, oh, you saw Ariana's hair. And they did them this way, like diagonally this way across one side. Oh my goodness. And then Ari had a braid or a wrap as well. So she has all, first she did the wrap thing. And so they took like hair right here and did it long. And then they did the diagonal braids around that. Oh my God, it's so adorable. Avery wouldn't let them do it to her hair. And I have to say, I love it. The beads, I have to, I, hard to sleep on. So I have to like move them out of the way when I go to sleep. Uh, and the braids at first were, um, they were hard to sleep on the rubber bands because I'm not used to having like stuff in my hair. I don't sleep on curlers or anything like that. Um, and they were tight. I really, I'm like, Eee, they're going to make me like, give me a facelift as they're just on half of my face. They were pulling it so tight. You know, it's been a couple days now loosened up. It's fine. And I still totally love them. So they're staying. Um, and I got an email. This is the, now here we go, ladies. Let's, I'm like so excited about this. I just can't wait to see what happens. Um, I got an email from Dollar Tree saying that my last order that I placed has arrived at the store. It wasn't supposed to arrive till the 28th, but they sent me an email mm, a day or two ago. I think today's Sunday. I think I got it Friday evening or Saturday saying that my um, yarn is in and I need to go pick it up by the 29th. I'm like, okay, I'll be home before then. I'll go pick it up. So I'm going to go when I leave here. Uh, I have to go to my Mark store where the where I get all that discounted yarn. I have to go there because we just got back from vacation. There's no food in the house. Um, so I have to go shopping there and I'm going to also pick up my yarn at Dollar Tree, which is right next door. 
So I'm very anxious to see, because I've heard so many terrible stories. They get their yarn and it's not yarn. Um, or they go there and there's no order. So I'm really anxious to see what happens. Cross your fingers. I really want to get the doggone yarn. So I will let you know how that goes, because obviously if I get it, I'm going to post it. Uh, oh, well, I'll show you anything that they, if I come back and I have uh, pipe cleaners and storage boxes, you'll see that too. <laughs> uh, but in the email, they do send you a picture of what you're supposed to get. So uh, I think it was Mama Lama Kema, Kayla. She got her yarn, like was canceled and then she got a double order. Paid for one and didn't pay for the other. They wouldn't take it back. They said, no, 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 no. So maybe, I think, I told my husband, I think I probably, if every order that I tried to place actually had gone through, I probably would have had 60 skeins of yarn coming. Um, but as it is, I think I'm picking up 12 skeins of yarn because you had to order in sixes, and I think I only got two to go through, two, you know, groups of six. Um, I know that's what I'm supposed to be picking up. But if there's 24 or 36 or 48 or 60, I'm going to be like, yay, because I really wanted this yarn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for subscribing. Oh, one more thing. Today is the last day to enter the giveaway for the 500. Um, please make sure that you are subscribed because I do check. These giveaways are for my subscribers. Um... And anybody that just wants to pop in and, and I mean, I'm glad to have you pop in, um, but you have to be subscribed to win. And I have a lot of people, because uh, I do read all the comments, um, and I do have a lot of people that say, hey, thanks for letting me enter. And there's they're not subscribed. And I'm like, okay, but you're not subscribed. So, um... If you think that you're subscribed, check. If the subscription button, not the one that shows up on my screen while I'm videoing, I'm not sure how that works. Uh, my granddaughter put it on there for me. So you can hit that. I know on the regular, like if you're on your phone and you're looking at just the short picture, not the wide version, but if you're just looking at the short picture, I know on your phone um, the subscribe button is red. Until you hit it, then it turns gray. And it's always gray if you're subscribed to that channel. If you're on your laptop, I'm thinking it's the same way. The subscribe button is red until you subscribe, then it turns gray. So if it's gray, leave it alone. If it's red, hit it. Now, if you're looking at this little one that's going to be like in this corner right here on the screen, um, if you are looking at that one, I don't know if it changes color when you hit it. I know you can hit it and you should be subscribed to the channel, but I don't know if it changes color. Um, so, because I can't do that on my own, so I don't know. Um, so look on the full screen, like where you would go if you want to see the notes underneath, you know, on that screen. Look there and verify if indeed you're subscribed because I... I want to be able to give this away to someone that's subscribed and well I'm only giving it away to someone that's subscribed so um the yarn is just waiting for tomorrow when I get to pick the winner because it ends at like midnight tonight or when I go to bed probably um so good luck on that please verify your subscription so I don't have to pass you up and thanks for liking thanks for sharing Thanks for bringing my yarny friend. And I will let you know how the Dollar Tree thing turns out. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.